Hey second channel, welcome back to my second channel. And today I'm gonna see if Timu's expectation meets the reality. All right, so for this very first item, I could not resist. These are the cutest little dog slippers I have ever seen in my life. They were only seven bucks and they have almost a perfect five star review. Okay, here we go. First one. So these are the shoes. Oh, oh my God, they are so cute. Oh, and they're so soft too. <gasps> Oh my god, this is amazing. Right off the bat, these are absolutely so cute. I love the little eyes. I love the little detail of the nose. Surprisingly, they fit really good, like absolutely perfect. They're true to size. I was kind of worried, you know, because like whenever you get clothes from like Timu or like Shein or Wish or whatever, they have that reputation, you know, for being a little bit too small. But no, these fit absolutely perfect. And the thickness of them is actually not too bad at all. It feels like a nice supportive shoot. This is a great first purchase. We're starting off strong. 10 out of 10. Next up, we have an item that I can use literally every single day, okay? These are the coolest sunglasses I have ever seen in my life. They're only $3.79. They have, out of 21,000 reviews, they have almost, again, a five-star rating. And most importantly, they have a UV protection of 400. These look beautiful. They look designer, so hopefully they look just like that when they come in. Oh, I am so ready for these sunglasses. I am ready. Oh, so these just came in a box, which is kind of weird because usually there's like a protective film or something over it, but not these ones. Oh, these are so groovy. That's the only word I can describe for these glasses. These are so... Oh, you know what? I didn't think these were gonna have like any kind of like protection against the light, but just putting them, even just like my big lights that I have right here, it really is working. These are definitely a lot more flimsier than I would like. I feel like I'm gonna break them at any point in time. The quality, the design of this, they honestly feel more like a party favor, to be honest with you. And you can get cheap sunglasses that'll last you literally years and years and years. I don't know, these sunglasses are just not it. Three out of 10 but perfect 10 for grooviness. All right, next up we have an item that I have been meaning to buy for a while, okay? I am definitely the type of person that when I buy a certain item and I like it, I will wear that item until the seams are popping off, until like the thread is coming undone. And when I found these beautiful works of art for only $5, I knew I had to get them. And before I open this, I just wanna say that I really hate scratchy socks. Like I hate socks that have like a scratchy material. I cannot stand them. So I'm hoping these socks don't have that. Oh, these are nice. Oh my gosh. They look so beautiful. They kind of remind me of like a Marie Antoinette sock. Like if she could have a sock, this would be the Marie Antoinette. She definitely would not be shopping at Timu though. That's for dang sure. And moment of truth, let's see if they have that scratchy feeling. Okay, good. No, no, they don't. They're not super soft, but they're not annoying. You know what I mean? These are almost better in person than they were than the listing, 10 out of 10. So for this next item, I have no explanation for this because usually when I try to buy items, I really do try to be very intentional with what I buy. But to be honest with you, I just, I just wanted this, okay? This is the world's cutest stuffed animal, a capybara. My baby! He's gonna replace Pampy right here, okay? Ah! Oh, I have not felt this amount of joy in like such a long time. This is incredible quality. This looks just like the photos, if not better. And I can easily see this being sold at a gift shop for at least triple the price. Great quality, the cutest thing ever, 10 out of 10. Okay, so for this next item, I am very suspicious of because this is definitely 1000% one of those items that is just too good to be true, you know? Uh, this is a miniature portable printer for your iPhone. It prints out photographs, to-do lists, it can connect to your phone, it's completely wireless. And surprisingly, maybe more like alarmingly, it's only $3.48. Ooh, okay, so here it is. Here's what it looks like. Surprisingly, it comes with the paper included, which I didn't think it was gonna be. And let's see how this little guy works. Okay, I just got it connected to the app and it was surprisingly easy to connect. So it has a bunch of options of things that I can print out, but I think I'm gonna start off slow and just print a picture. I, I get so awkward taking pictures. Okay. Oh God, I look like a hamster. It's printing. 
Oh, it's printing fast. Okay, so the printer quality is obviously not the best, but just the fact that this printer works for literally $3, it's completely inkless, like everything, this is awesome. Out of everything so far, this little printer is the best. 10,000 out of 10. Now we have an item that I just want to say I literally do not care if I look like a dork wearing this, okay? This is a passport storage bag. And as you can see, it looks super, super dorky. And the reason I got this is because later this year, I'm taking my first international trip and I need something to put all of my stuff in. So hopefully this works out. Oh gosh, here it is. I'm definitely not going to be like wearing it around. I'm definitely going to be keeping it like obviously in a secure place. This is definitely a lot more flimsy than I thought it would be. Supposedly it has RFID protection. I don't know how true that is because this is literally just nylon. The quality kind of reminds me of like whenever your parents go to like a business conference or something and they get the bunch of freebies for the company, like a company stamped pen and like a water bottle. And then like this, you know? This one's definitely not giving. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this next item I am so skeptical of. And like I said, I try to be very intentional with what I buy. Like I try to buy stuff that I can actively use all the time. But this item, I just, I don't think that's gonna happen. This is a portable bag heat sealer. As you can see, if you open up like a chip bag or whatever, you get this little, little iron and supposedly it like reseals the plastic bag that the chips came in. Okay, so here it is. And like I said, I am not hopeful for this one at all. All right, so I just put in the batteries. It does not have an off or an on button. You just kind of like pop in the batteries and it starts warming up on its own. It's already been like a full minute since I put in the batteries and I don't feel it getting warm at all, even though it's supposed to take like five seconds, but I am not willing to touch it to find out. Um, yeah, that did not work literally whatsoever. I, I just adjusted the batteries. Let me try it one more time. Yeah, no, this definitely did not work or even turn on. So zero out of 10. Now this next one is gonna be a twofer, okay? Because I bought multiple. I love to wear false eyelashes. Like I, I don't know, I just love a good sleigh of it, okay? So when I saw that Timu offered these really cool, unique eyelashes that have like little hearts, little butterflies, have multicolored little hairs on them for less than five bucks a piece. Bottom, they're mine. In the cart, you go. Oh, I am so excited. These are the lashes. Yes, I gotta pull my hair back. <laughs> That's how excited I'm getting. So these are the lashes. And as you can see, they are not practical whatsoever. They look almost cartoonishly long, which I did not anticipate. The band that holds all the little hairs, it's a little thicker than I prefer. And looking at these butterfly ones, I feel like I could probably just make these myself. But I am obsessed with these colored ones. I think these are so cool. I don't really like the butterfly ones. I'm gonna give them a three out of 10, but for these colored ones, I'm giving them eight out of 10. Okay, this next item, I have a feeling it's going to let me down, okay? Like this is one of those items that is so cheap. I'm like, no, this looks so beautiful. It's definitely too good to be true. This is the most beautiful rhinestone phone case, okay? Like look how beautiful the video looks. It just looks absolutely stunning. All right, so this phone case came in a clear packaging. Just looking at it, I haven't even opened yet and I'm already disappointed in the results. On the listing, it genuinely looks like it's made with like cheap rhinestones, but it's not even that. It's like compressed glued on glitter. It's giving super cheap, but for only two bucks, I'm not mad. I don't hate it. It's still pretty cute. It's definitely not what I thought it was gonna be. It's not worse than what it is. It's, it's, it's just okay, you know, seven out of 10. This is a specialty TikTok remote. It's literally a remote control to help you scroll through TikTok without having to constantly. 
I know it sounds so stupid, but the reason I got it is for when I'm on the treadmill, I like to have my phone up on this little shelf thing that I have, okay? And I can't be on the treadmill and like be doing this motion, okay? Or else I'll fall over. So I got this remote to hopefully solve that problem. Oh, it's so small. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than this, but it's literally like a ring that goes around your finger. Uh, so my first impression of this is that it reminds me of Majin Buu. It's a lot tinier than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, okay, so I just spent like the past 10 minutes trying to figure it out and literally the only instruction says is just to connect it to your Bluetooth phone, but it's not showing up to my Bluetooth. I'm gonna try to keep tinkering around with this to see if like maybe there's like some kind of like secret that's not in the instructions, but unfortunately I think for now tonight it's just not gonna work out. Two out of 10. And for this very last item, we have this car sun visor organizer. As you can see, it looks like it's made out of like a leather or a pleather looking thing. It looks incredibly high quality. And of course the best part, it's pink. So, so far just looking at it, first impressions, it looks decent quality. Doesn't have any weird smells. It's definitely obviously made out of a pleather. This has so many compartments. It's absolutely unreal. It has a sunglass holder, a pen holder. I love this giant compartment in the middle. I think that is just so handy, but I love the color and I feel like we ended on a really good note. This is a really nice quality item. Wow, this is so nice that I think I'm gonna buy another one for my mom. 10 out of 10. Well, there you guys go. That was items from Timu. And as you can see, it's kind of 50-50. If you buy an item, I definitely recommend that you look for something that has very high reviews. I definitely recommend spending an extra two or three dollars and getting an item from somewhere else that you know for sure will last. That way you don't end up like me and just buying something that ended up not working. Uh, but that's okay. I'll try to get a refund or something. But anyway, guys, if you want to see me try out Timu's art supplies, I will leave that in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye second channel.